When I went to school here, I was bullied and karate saved me. I heard you were the real bully. There's a popular theory online that says Daniel LaRusso is the real bully of Karate Kid. Now, if you think about it, he was the one to instigate the conflict with Johnny. Out of nowhere, the guy sucker punched him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is I know, man. Ruin his relationship with Allie and steal the championship with an illegal move. Well, it looks like the apple doesn't fall too far from the bonsai tree, as Sam LaRusso is turning out to be quite the bad girl herself. Today, we're going to explore how Sam LaRusso could be the villain of Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai has built a strong case in exposing how Daniel LaRusso isn't the virtuous hero he is supposed to be. In the show, Daniel often makes choices with the belief that Cobra Kai Dojo is evil and must be stopped. But he's so focused on that belief that he begins to ruin everything and everyone around him, especially Johnny. And guess who else is doing the same thing to the people around her? That's right, it's his daughter, Sam LaRusso. And Sam may be worse than her father. Her actions have not only escalated the problems with Daniel and Johnny, but sent Miguel to the hospital with life-threatening injuries, hurt her father's dealership, caused a massive school riot, landed Robbie and Juvie, and ruined the Miyagi Dojo name. It's no wonder Kreese is smiling. He's sitting back and letting Sam do all his dirty work. Still don't believe me? All right, let me break things down for you. Let's go ahead and make this a karate tournament and score points for every bad thing Sam LaRusso does to wreck mayhem on the valley. Season one. Oh, look, here's uh, Sam as one of the rich spoiled girls. She and her friends get into a car accident with Johnny, and instead of doing the right thing, they speed off because Sam assumes Johnny is a crook. Way to judge a book by its cover, Sam. You gotta be kidding me. Point for Sam. Next, Sam abandons her best friend Aisha for Yasmin after Yasmin cyberbullies Aisha. Does she do anything to help her friend? Nope. Point for Sam. Sam now hooks up with Miguel only after he beats up Kyler and his gang at school. And is she proud that she's dating Miguel? No, she hides that relationship from her parents. Meet your mom, your dad. You know, tonight's just really not a good night. Point for Sam. A series of assumptions and misunderstanding lead Miguel to believe that Sam is ashamed of him and involved with Robbie. All Sam had to do was tell Miguel the truth, but no, she doesn't. Point for Sam. Moving on to season two, Sam instantly dislikes the new girl Tori when they first meet. And like all spoiled villains of the 1980s, Sam's hanging out at the fancy country club Sam is immediately jealous that Tori is hanging out with her best friend Aisha and accuses Tori of stealing her mother's wallet when Tori did not steal anything. What's worse is when Tori tries to disengage the situation, Sam is the one to make the first move and get physical. Point for Sam. Now over time, she and Robbie develop feelings for each other. When they finally start dating, what does Sam do? She doesn't tell anybody in her family again as well. Just like Miguel, that's another point for hiding things from her dad again. Next up, let's go to that party where they all get drunk. Tori sees Sam kissing Miguel, who Tori is currently dating. A good deal of responsibility here falls on Miguel, sure, but Sam is the one who instigates, knowing full well that Miguel and Tori are an item. Furthermore, she's still dating Robbie. That's like two points, two points for Sam. Now she's wasted at the party. Does she have Robbie bring her home and face the consequences of her actions? Nope. Robbie hides her at Johnny's place, which ultimately brings Daniel, and a huge fight ensues after we finally see Johnny and Daniel get along. That's a point for Sam. We were just having a great time with Johnny and Daniel. Now in the season finale, on the first day of school, she had an opportunity to tell Robbie the truth, but she doesn't. Point for Sam. Sure, Tori overreacted at the school and started an all-out brawl, but still, Sam's actions throughout season two sent Miguel to the hospital, ruined both Miyagi Dojo and LaRusso's name, and made Robbie a fugitive from the law. That's like four points for Sam. Here we are in season three, after the all-out brawl at the school. Guess who gets expelled at the school? Oh, it's not the rich, arrogant girl Sam, but Tori. Poor Tori, who is revealed to be the one genuinely struggling. She works multiple jobs as the breadwinner for her sick mother while still trying to live a life as an average teenager. Plus, she's getting hit on by the landlord. When Miguel tries to tell Sam about Tori's complicated life, she responds that everybody's got a sob story. Nice, Sam. Nice. Why don't you go back to your fancy car your parents bought and go hang out at the country club and private pool? Point for Sam. Later on in the show, Sam decides to show the Cobra Kai students they aren't doormats. The Miyagi-Do students take a stand during what escalates into an intense soccer match. 
So it's Sam who starts all the trouble during the soccer match. Point for Sam. To retaliate, the Cobra Kai students attack Chris at work, leading to a confrontation at an abandoned mall shop. Sam suffers a panic attack, and she ditches out the same fight she instigated, and Hawk breaks Dimitri's arm. That's a point for Sam for not stepping up. Just a few weeks ago, my students were injured by a bunch of his Cobra Kais. And who started that fight? If memory serves, your out-of-control daughter. Now, finally, at the end of season three, she's finally broken down and realizes she's the problem and starts to open up to her father. But it's because she has nowhere else to go and has done enough damage for now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dad! Sorry, sorry. That's 17 points for Sam LaRusso. And if anything, I declare her the winner of being a pretty good villain in Cobra Kai. Go ahead, take your trophy, Sam. You deserve it. With Sam turning herself around at the end of Season 3, will she finally be on the good side in Season 4? I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I highly doubt she and Tori will have the same resolution as Daniel and Chosen.